Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23. Here today on the channel, we have episode 5 of my Collingwood series. Here today we have the first round of finals, and it's against the D's. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Alright, let's go. So, we have a second chance going into this match. It's a massive game here today. Majacek finds McCreary in the pocket. Oh, acres of space. And to start things off here. He goes straight for goal. McCreary with a great goal. What a player he's become. Collingwood looking for their second. Ginevan gets it spoiled. McStay lines up and hits the score sheet. Two goals. Super quick. Bang. Second quarter now. McCreary looking for his second. The D's just look absolutely shell-shocked in this match for whatever reason and it's a textbook finish from the youngster three goals up Grundy to Oliver Ben Brown narrowly beating them a couple times in the season Ben Brown scored like four on us I think for their first. But they just look not up for this map. Oh, is that come back? Oh, I thought that was going wayward there. Wow, it's a textbook finish by, by him. Two points here now. Sorry, two goals, but only a handful of points. Come on. McCreary. Oh, he's been so, so good. Sails that one through. And the crowd roars. Three goal game. Ginevan receives it. He's going to take a set shot. He's a beautiful kick of the footy. And tops it off with a beautiful finish as well. That's four for the Pies. Oh, ben Brown gets it back. Looking to respond quickly in this second term. Ben Brown lines up. Hits it. It's coming back again. There's no mistake about that. It's another major goal for him. Three goal lead. Collingwood looking to extend it even more. Cox comes up with the grab. It's been a little bit absence. Absence? <laughs> Absent in the last couple of matches. But he erupts at the top of the pack. And hits it through the big sticks. It's a four goal game in this first finals fixture. Can the Pies make a prelim? Third quarter. How? Oh, holds it. The D's go forward. They hit it from the forward 50 as well. Oh, no. Great goal, ultimately. Dacos looking to bring it out from the back. The Pies by three goals. Meyer check with the grab. He's going to play on quick because he knows Mason Cox is at the top of the goal square. Oh, wow. He's had an absolute unforgettable season. Collingwood win the minor premiership. Can they go on and win? A prelim, and then the granny. Only time will tell, but the D's. They're going to say something about it. It's only a three-goal game now. Ben Brown with another goal. Cox with the lead. Oh, it got spoiled. Crisp. Meyer check on an angle to find Ginevan. Yeah, kind of baited the run there. Four-goal game. D's win it in the midfield. Oh, Ben Brown with the grab. We can't stop him. This man is a goal-kicking machine. 
the man from Devonport, Tasmania. My home state. Gets another goal. That's number five. And the D's are back in it. Fourth quarter, three goals. The D's looking for number six. Side bottom. Shuts it down, though. Getting Collingwood's ninth. ninth. That's a huge morale booster in this final quarter. Mitchell. To McStay. Oh, it's boiled. Crisp. Keeps on going. Oh, can't release the footy. But it's okay because Mason Cox is going to hit the dribbler. That's number 10 for the Pies. Five goals in front. The Pies look set to claim that prelim spot. Crisp. Open goal. Goes bang. And we've beaten the defense again. For number 12, can we get it? We've hit it quick there in midfield. Oh, Elliot. Oh, what a great goal there. The forward line is ablaze with goals. Our forward line has been wicked this season. It's just our defense. Like, look at this. We're just, like, oozing with confidence going forward. Mitchell wins it back. He's only got 16 seconds. Just going to pop it to the top of the goal square. He's hit a 50-meter goal. <laughs> oh, my. Tommy Mitchell, bang. <laughs> Can we get one more back here with Coxie? <laughs> 10 goals to make it 11 goals. And... Collingwood are going to knock the D's out of this year's final. Could have even been any more, even more. We've hit 13. We could have hit maybe 18, if we're being honest. 88-31. The Pies knock out the D's in an emphatic match. We ran away with it towards the end, but we've booked ourselves a place in the prelim. That's massive. 14-4, 5-1, Brown with four, Cox with four, Ginevan with two. And now, who are we going to be drawn against in the prelim? Who's going to make it? Port Adelaide, a team we, we've lost to twice this season. Oh, wow. Huge, huge rivalry, this one. Probably a team I wouldn't have wanted. Uh, Hoskin Elliott is now back though, which is massive. We're at home at the G, and we'll let them play in the blue, so it's easier to see. But here we go, the prelim, the Collingwood Magpies facing the Port Adelaide Magpies. The Battle of the Pies begins. Dacos to Hoskin Elliott. Good grab, back from his 13-week injury. Pops it to Ginevan it's spoiled but Cox starts off the scoring there with a faint touch the fans are on their feet Collingwood starts off the scoring to book ourselves a place in the granny the grand final it goes to Hoskin Elliott after breaking his foot earlier in the season goes on quickly and it's a sensational finish the Pies look good in this match. Hoskin Elliott back at his best. Finds Cox. And we're on an angle en enough. We could go around the body. He's pretty good in this game around it. So we want it sort of about there. Just on that inside of the right post. It's coming back. It's coming back. A crucial goal. An inch perfect delivery. And the Pies kick three. Second quarter now. The power. Eventually find Charlie Dixon there. He's going to go back and try and slot this one. Charlie Dixon just outside the 50. Creeps inside. Straight through the middle of the big sticks. It's a two-goal game here at the MCG. And anyone can win. We kick three in a row. 
but will it be enough? The team just looks a little bit s exhausted in this second term for whatever reason. It's a bouncing ball. Dugowie finds it. Can't release the footy. McStay from 45. Go, 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 go. Three goals in the lead. The pies look good. Back in the centre square. Bouncing ball. Crisp. Turns. Hits it quick. Cox with the lead. And I don't know what's going on with their defence. Port Adelaide. Oh, he's going to play on quickly there. They just don't have anyone tall enough, I don't think, to deal with him. Four goals ahead. Oh, side bottom. Good on you. Ginevan comes up. He gets it. Same with Hoskin Elliott. Ginevan hits it from the 45. Five goal lead in the third quarter. Pies give it and go. Oh, Charlie Dixon gets up to it. It gets spoiled only as far as Pal Pepper. He is so good in career mode. Like... I can't stop him ever. Four goals. Oh, good grab, Mitchell. Looking to bring it out from half back. Oh, doesn't. Gets chopped down. And Dixon's going to go back and have a shot at this one. Sloppy football here is costing us, if anything. And to bring it back within three. He does. Super close this match. Side bottom. Oh. We need to switch on here. It's the third quarter and we've given away another sloppy goal. Potentially Port Adelaide. Oh no, they kick it. It's only within two. Ten points the margin. Quainor. We can't concede anymore. We're going to go forward now because we've got time. Dugowie wins it just outside the 50. Hit. Oh, no, he gets chopped down. Crisp has some space, though. Hits it from the 45, and he does. What a goal. Fourth quarter now. Three goals. That's all that's in it. Port Adelaide and Collingwood both deserving of a grand final spot. The power under Ken Hinckley having an amazing season. They find Pal Pepper who plays a quick to Dixon. They get a goal. It looks online. It's only two goals. Oh no. Two minutes remaining. Port Adelaide sniffing. They win the center bounce. Port Adelaide look good. Horn Francis in the midfield. Drills it to Dixon. No! Wait, they bugged out here. Oh, he's going to take the shot. I don't think it was Dixon in the end. I don't know who this is, but... He's going to go back and try and slot it, I think. The power to bring it back within a goal. Oh, and they do. It's a beautiful goal. Oh, no. Oscar Elliott! Oh, with the grab. Needs to slot this one. Quick response by Collingwood at the other end. Four points to make it ten. That might be enough. Hoskin Elliott back from his injury. Slots the goal. Collingwood looking for another. <gasps> Mason Cox with the grab. <laughs> Sometimes the best defense is attack and he plays on quick. I should have had the confidence to do that earlier in the season because the goal kickers I have are so good and the Pies might just have claimed victory. Three goals. Just need to hold on here. Hoskin Elliott finds Meyer check. He's going to get the goal, I think. No, I think the siren went. Oh, no. But we win in the end. The power after the resurgence lose. 
and Collingwood books a place in the AFL Grand Final. They came so close there to bringing it back and beating a final. Oh, we got the achievement of beating a final, a rival in a final. Wow. Well, unfortunately on that note, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode what is it? Five, I lost count, of this AFL 23 Collingwood Magpie series. We won the first round. We won the prelim. We are now in the AFL Grand Final. So stay tuned for episode six coming out tomorrow. And I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise who we're going to be versing. So if you enjoyed today's episode, like and subscribe. Super close in that match against the Power who finished in third this season, they arguably could have won that match if it wasn't some good goal kicking for, uh, from us at the end. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Simsy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.